Hi everyone, it's Louise again and I'm just here with a quick video because I've finally, finally managed to make something successful, or semi-successful perhaps, um, with the resin that I've been getting from Sophie and Tuffy. Um, and yeah, it feels like a minor miracle. <laughs> so, here we go. Um, right, so this first one is a journal or notebook cover and I've made it using this um, silicon mould which I got from Amazon somewhere but I can't remember where sorry not terribly helpful I will find out where and I'll put it in the description below um, but it's about six inches by four and a half inches um, and as you can see I've done like a, a galaxy kind of theme well space theme maybe not galaxy because it doesn't have the little galaxy details but um, as you can see it's nice and sparkly and what I did with this one that was different was I with the mould face down um, I put a clear layer of the Sophie and Toffee's two part epoxy resin which is this one um, so that layer literally just about covered the bottom of the mould and then after that I mixed up another batch of the same resin and then I put in some of this black um, pigment powder which came from Sophie and Toffee in a previous box I think it could have been the January egg box um, so I mixed some of that in and then I so that gave a plain black layer of resin. Um, I had to let the other one, the clear layer, cure first, by the way, for about 12 hours before I moved on to this step. So then I put the layer of black resin in, and I had some of these holographic transfers, which, well, say transfers, it's a holographic film, acid, like an acetate sheet, which also came from Sophie and Toffee. Um, and that's the little starship and the stars that you can see there and they are holographic it's just difficult to to get it to actually look like that on on the camera um, so I put some stars in there and this cute little rocket which I really really like um, and then to get the details of the smaller stars I used again and it was another holographic um, I call them sprinkles glitters confetti uh, glitters um, from a previous Sophie and Toffee box um, and that provided just the little details what I did then was I let that layer set for about 30 seconds th sorry 30 minutes and then I took a cocktail stick and I pushed bear in mind this was face down at this point that way so then what I did was I found out where the transfers were and I literally just pushed them closer to the surface um, so that they set closer to the clear layer um, and then the glitters were added on top of that which is why they look a little bit more distant and that was the effect that I was going for so some, I'm really surprised it turned out <laughs> um, so these journal covers you use them with these um, little snap rings um, and they go in these holes and obviously there's you can see the six of them um, so I'll get some paper to put in there and I'll show you the end result when I've actually finished making that one. I'm also going to try and incorporate this item um, which looks just like satin to me. Um, I'm going to try and incorporate that into a bookmark um, for use with this journal cover. Um, the only thing that I'm not so sure about is it's really quite heavy um, so I'm not too sure whether it'll work out or whether it might scratch the surface but um, I'm going to give that a go so again I'll show you that at the end and then some of the other things I was working on I'll show you in just a second oh and let me just say as well this this I let the clear layer set for about 12 hours like I said but I also let the black layer cure for about 12 hours but this resin I find takes about 24 to 36 hours to cure where I live which is in the north of England and it's really quite cold so I'm going to leave that flat for about another 12 to 24 hours just so that it doesn't warp 
Okay, so the next item, which again, this isn't finished completely, but I've done this using the same technique. So this is a little pendant, which I'm going to put a um, like a lace thread through there. And you can see there's a little rocket there and a star. And again, this isn't finished. I mean, the backs aren't finished off or domed or anything yet. Um, but I did that with the same technique, building up the clear layer and the black layer and the transfers and the glitters and pushing the transfers closer to the surface. Um, and this one was made using this mould here, which just about everybody in creation has because they were really cheap on Amazon. And that was using this one. And again, you build that up from the... Um, this surface here ends up being the front. So you, that's, you're basically building it up backwards. Um, and then the other ones I'll move on to, which are these, in fact I'll show you these first. This is two sets of just cat rings, there's a small child one and a kind of teenager size. And basically these were just to use up the rest of the resin. Um, so they're slightly shimmery, um, black, and again they need just doming on the back and just finishing off. Um, but I'm going to give these away free um, to basically anybody who wants them. Like I said, they were just to finish the resin off and I was just trying out a couple of moulds. Um, so that was using these two moulds, which again, got from Amazon somewhere. Oh no, these were from Sophie and Toffee actually. In fact, they were freebies off, I think. I think they gave me them with a fairly large order. So that's these two. And then, oh, this one, I love this one. I'm calling this one Space Bunny. It's still not set brilliant yet, yet, so I have to be careful. So this was made using the same technique as the notebook. Um, and you can see it's got some glitters in there. The lighting's not brilliant here, actually. I'm sorry, it's not quite looking as good as it could do. Um, but, yeah, I, I know somebody who might like that one. Um, if they don't want it, I might give that one away as well. Um, and that one was made using this cute bunny ears mould, which is from Sophie and Toffee. And then finally I've got a piece which didn't really turn out, but I was going to use this on the front of one of the notebook covers. Not this one shown here. Um, and it was going to be for somewhere to insert a card with the name on, but... It basically was far smaller than I really even realised and I created it using this mould which I got from I think Sophie and Toff here, it could be Amazon and what I did was I just filled this section so that it wasn't um, like a full flat backed kind of um, effect so basically it's just really thin and the kind of size was really inconsistent the depth of it um, and as you can probably see there's some cracks in the surface so not terribly successful but again this was a piece really that I was using to sort of use up the last few bits of resin and there wasn't really enough resin to get a good depth on there really um, so yeah so the only thing that's that's to add is there were a couple of pores in some of the pieces so what I did was I mixed up some some more of this black powder and some of the Sophie and Toffee clear UV resin the thin type and basically just filled up a couple of holes and the biggest one was probably on the back of here let me just see if I can show where it is yeah so it's about there I filled it in. There is some shrinkage with this um, resin, which is why I don't particularly like using the UV resin. There's just too much shrinkage. I don't find it gives very good effects sometimes. Um, so once I've finished filing that and doming it, I think it'll look okay. And I was planning on giving these away anyway. But anyway, so so that's it. So finally, something's turned out, and I'm so happy. Um, so happy, in fact, that. I ordered some more resin um, on sale, thankfully, and using some points that I collected, so nice and cheap. Anyway, I'll be back later with whatever I make next or unboxing next month's 
Sophie and Toffee's elves box. So anyway, so till then, goodbye.